Hey there, I'm Christine Zernheld from the Marketing O'Clock Podcast. Did you know that even if you have location targeting turned on in your Google Ads campaign, Google Ads can and will show your ads to people outside of those targeted locations? Sadly, this is very true, and it usually comes down to your location targeting settings. So today we're gonna show you where to find those settings and how to make sure they are set up for success. So here's an example of how these would work. I have a client who um, we only run ads in the United States and Canada. It's a lead gen client, so people are filling out forms to convert. And I got an email a couple of weeks ago that said, hey, Christine, we are getting all of these form submissions from ads from people in the Middle East, but we're only targeting the US and Canada. What the heck is happening here? Well, I'll show you what's happening. So in your Google Ads settings here, we're in a Performance Max campaign, but any campaign, it's in your settings tab. If you expand this locations tab and then this location options button, again, very hidden setting, but very important here. Um, you have two location targeting options. So the first one is presence or interest. So this targets people who are in, regularly in, or who have shown interest in your targeted locations. And Google recommends this option. The second option is presence, and that's people in or regularly in your targeted location. So presence does not mean just people in your targeted location. There used to be an option for this, but now the best you can do is in or regularly in. So Google says this is supposed to capture like commuters or people who otherwise might not see your ads because they're not in the location right then, but you'd still want that traffic. You'd be able to capture those folks through presence. And then presence or interest is the default setting and Google's recommended setting because it's the most broad option. We do have presence or interest turned on for this campaign in our Marketing O'Clock Performance Max account. But this is a little bit broader, again, and my client, they were getting a lot of form submissions for people looking for jobs, so they were interested in our targeted location. So the first thing that I did to try to cut back on this problem as much as possible in that situation was I came in here and I selected um, presence instead of presence or interest. And hopefully that will cut back on it as much as possible. But there's actually another workaround that I wanted to tip you off for this. Um, you can also be smart about your excluded locations. So again, for this campaign, we're only targeting the United States and Canada. But if I go to my exclusions and click um, the pencil there, I can press add locations in bulk. Then in this box here, you can select or paste a big list of master exclusions. So I'm gonna press paste because I have copied a list of every country in the world outside of the US and Canada, and we're gonna see if this works. Again, I had a, a list of every country outside of the United States. There are only two that failed for Iran and Syria. I just Googled it and Google Ads doesn't run ads in those two countries. So obviously we're not able to exclude them, but our ads aren't gonna show there. So now we have this full list of every country in the world outside of the US and Canada, and we're gonna exclude it from the campaign. We were able to do it with one click. And you could do the similar thing for the United States or whatever country you're in. If I wanted it to exclude every state except for a certain state, I could master copy a list of every state and do it that way. Um, so just be smart about your exclusions. And just as a special little gift for you, I'm going to include this list of every country in the world outside of the United States. So you can use it to exclude traffic from your co campaigns from a specific location um, if you want to. If you're in the UK and you want to remove the UK and add the US to that, feel free to do whatever you need to do to make it work for your campaigns. But it's just a really handy option to actually keep your campaigns out of a certain country if you don't want them in there. So I hope this helped you in any way in your accounts. Um, we have a lot of great content where this came from. So subscribe to our podcast, youtube.marketingoclock.com. We have more awesome tutorials like this and weekly news shows every Friday, Rain or Shine. So we hope to see you there. Bye.